Good morning, brothers and sisters, my YouTube family, and friends. <clears throat> Today would be the 1st of November, 2020. Looks like we made it through Halloween. I sound a little sarcastic, I'm sorry. Um, being part of the born again Christian followers of Christ movement. We deal a, wi a little bit with um, this rapture buzz. Now, whether or not there is a pre-tribulation rapture or not is an argument. It's a debate. It's something I've personally looked at and I found scripture that I felt led me to believe this rapture happens at the second coming of Christ and not before that. That being said, I don't know for sure. I'm just going on what I read in scripture and, and what we found and that's my opinion. Um, others have shown me, I have a dear friend that shows me stuff and she showed me some things where okay well that does sound a little you know a little like that you know but it also depends on how are you reading like escape from that hour well which hour is it the hour of tribulation or the hour of wrath you see because we're not appointed to wrath but i do believe we're appointed to tribulations in our life now um this is about Halloween, of all things. Because see, this year, Halloween was a big buzz. Um, Halloween this year is the blue moon, which is the second full moon of the year. Not that it was blue at all. It was very bright, though. I did see it last night. Super bright. Really full. Um, it was supposedly a blood moon. I don't know where that came from, but I seen last night somebody was saying, oh, it's a blue moon and a blood moon. So I'm not sure how it was blue and red. I was calling it the bad boys moon. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Because it's red and blue, you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, Halloween is over. So the Halloween rapture, the high watch time for Halloween, blue moon, Rapture? It didn't happen, guys. Again. I have brothers and sisters in the Lord who are crushed today because they were so sure or wanted so badly for yesterday to be the rapture. They wanted so badly to go home. I see so many people that just want to go home. You know, and I don't mean to be mocking you. I'm not trying to mock you. That sounded mocking, and I'm not trying to. Because I get it. Life sucks. But at the same time, guys, it's not what we're told to do. It's just not what we're told to do. Now, having rapture not happened again. How hard is it on you that it didn't happen? Were you waiting? Were you hoping? See, because me, like I said, I don't really believe the pre-trib rapture thing. I think it's more at the seventh trumpet where it says it is. And um, before the seventh trumpet are the other six trumpets. So there's some stuff been going on at that point, and then he takes us up. <clears throat> and I see people who, if you're only expecting and you believe 100% that you're going to be raptured away before these things happen, if these things start to happen, are you going to then think, what, you didn't get raptured? So what, you got left behind, or you know what I mean? But we always it seems we got to put a date on it, right? And so this latest date was Halloween. High watch time. And then there's Brenda. Brenda Weldner. Miss Brenda the Prophet. 
who everybody seems to really have a lot of um, faith in this Brenda, but yet I know the Disciple Channel, he was reading um, her timeline a little while ago, and you could see him chuckle when he said it even. He's like, yeah, and then there's, there's Halloween, there's the five, the the demon locust army will be released from hell at Halloween and then and he caught what he had just said on his own channel he just said that at Halloween the demon locust army was coming out which not only is that kind of date setting a little tiny tiny bit but it's also saying that your preacher rapture thing which you push on your channel can't be true then if the demon locust guys are coming out and you're here to watch it at Halloween then I guess you didn't really get preacher raptured did you and when your whole channel is about being preacher raptured it doesn't leave a lot of option right and a friend of mine and me last night we went through a few different ones and you know there's a lot of channels that all they survive on is the rapture buzz we fly soon, Tim Anderson. Prophecy watch, Tim Anderson. We fly soon, Chad. Watchman on the wall, 88. We fly soon. Look into that blessed hope. Mm -hmm. Chad, you know what? Just once, I wish you would read 214, the one right after. Matter of fact, start at 212, maybe even 211 at Titus. And read the whole thing about how Jesus makes us a peculiar people for himself he does it for himself a peculiar people he makes us zealous to do good works to his good works it's not about the rapture Titus 2.13 is not about the rapture we're to look to the blessed hope of Jesus Christ every day all day every day what if a rock comes through the roof right now and kills me then I had better have been watching looking for that blessed hope our Lord Jesus Christ right I had better be watching I had better be watching for him every day all day that's what that means it doesn't mean stand here and look into the sky at the east because he might be coming right now read the book it says no man will know the hour day or hour so how can you know the day is going to be Halloween no man will know the day or hour Oh, but that's the second coming, Kev. Oh, oh, so now you're going to get technical on what it says. Good. Let's do that. Because what it says is how will we know the signs of your coming and of your coming and of the end? And he said, and let no man deceive you. And then he explained exactly how they would know the signs of his coming and his coming and of the end. And it doesn't have anything to do with rapture. It doesn't include that anywhere. About the time of the rapture, it says, And I gave you up to be afflicted and killed. And he was led to make war on the saints and overcome them, it says in Revelations. Oh, we're not the saints, we're the bride. Oh, we're not the body, we're just the bride? Or are we the body of Christ? I am. He says we're all a part of the body of Christ. You see, and he gave his body up to be afflicted and what? Killed. For who? Us. Mm. And I love coffee. <laughs> I love you guys too, by the way. Um, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, there's been a lot of division lately. There's been a lot of... Um, division basically caused by all kinds of things these rapture problems uh, <coughs> that thing at CES um, in the discord groups just everywhere it's what's going on right now it's a lot of division and, and strife and stuff amongst the brethren I've noticed comments from non-believers and you can't you can't get past a comment from a non-believing Oh my goodness, I, I don't even want to go into where this guy is, was religiously. And he said flat out, the meanest, nastiest people out there are the Christians. 
They all call me Satan. They all condemn me to hell. They all rebuke me in the Lord's name. Every one of them. Yeah, we kind of do that. We're kind of donkeys. You see, you want to get across to a normal sort of a man? Maybe try talking like a normal sort of a man, talking to a normal sort of a man. And tell him, hey, bro, you want salvation? You don't need to do the Ray Comfort thing. What you need to do is believe. 100% believe on Jesus Christ as the Savior. He's your Savior. He's the Son of God. Now, when Matthias says you can't teach anybody the gospel and save them, or have them be saved, because I don't save them, the Holy Spirit does, um, can't have them be saved by the simple gospel of 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which paraphrasing is, Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Son of God. He died on the cross. He was buried and raised again three days later, as the Scripture said, seen by many, as Scripture said. If you believe that, it says, you are saved. Why is that? Because it's saying that Jesus Christ, a man born of a, a woman here on earth, is God. The one and only begotten Son of God. Divine. Jesus is divine. He's holy. And you're agreeing that you believe that. And when you believe on Jesus Christ as the Lord, ye are saved. Done. Done. It's not a long process of salvation. True belief. Belief to the saving of the soul. Is believing. But bro, you all can't get the truth unless somebody tells you. You can't believe the simple gospel unless somebody tells it to you. If you go on a long two-hour rant about something, I ain't going to understand what you're saying. If you tell me I can be saved by simply believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, He is Lord, He is the Messiah, I can be saved by believing on Him alone. Not what I did, but what He did on the cross. That saves me. That's understandable to simple people. And to say the gospel isn't meant to be simple. You mocked it yesterday. Oh, I'm talking about Matthias again. I'm so sick of this. But literally, mocking the fact that it, the gospel can be believed and understood simply by a child. Because it's that simple. And to mock that. Anyway, this was about Halloween. Sorry guys, I'm upset over this talking doctrine crap. That's the word I'm going to use. Because it's a bunch of crap. It's division. It's causing division. It's just bad. But anyway, this was Halloween. <laughs> this is the day after Halloween. This is the day after the high watch zone time. And we're still here. So, Today is going to be a little tough one for a lot of people. If I have any brothers and sisters out there that watch this, can you just throw some prayers for those weak in their faith? Um, not even, I don't want to say weak in faith. Just because someone believes in the rapture doesn't mean they're weak in faith. I shouldn't say that. That's just wrong. Um, to all those that believe in this rapture, preacher rapture thing, and if it's true, maybe it happens tomorrow. I really, really don't know. But let's not live for that, okay? That's not what we're called to do. We're called to live for the Lord. Which means we're supposed to be sharing His gospel. This true, simple gospel that saves. We're supposed to share that with all the world. And we're supposed to pray for each other, the saints, right? And we don't avoid fellowship. Because during fellowship, like Matthias's long process of salvation... What happens is somebody plants a seed and then someone else waters it, right? That's how it works. And that's where fellowship comes in. You're watering seeds and you're helping people. People can ask you a question. You can have the Holy Spirit will come through and give an answer. This is how it works, guys. So we have to we have to go on that more than more on than this whole worrying about we get taken away. We need to just plant seeds. Water the seeds. Pray for the saints. Don't don't avoid no fellowship. Make disciples. Okay. 
we need to love God with all of our heart, soul, and mind, and we need to love each other. And I can hear Matthias going, They say the same things over and over. How is anybody supposed to get saved by that? Wow. That's what saves, bro. That's what saves. Matthias, if you actually think that you're long rambling conversations where you accuse everybody has saved anyone, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Yeah. Anyway, this isn't about Matthias. I keep thinking this about Matthias for some reason. I guess he's uh, gotten under my skin with all of these attacks. But anyway, um, Halloween Rapture didn't happen. Halloween Demon Locust Army didn't open up. I didn't notice anywhere. I haven't seen on YouTube where there's Demon Locusts flying around yet. So, maybe guys, we can put this to rest a little bit, and we can put Brenda Welter's uh, great prophecies to rest, finally. Um, I know back in the day, Prophet only got to make one mistake, and they were no longer considered a Prophet, they were actually in a lot of trouble. Um, if Brenda Welter, she'll never watch my video, if one of her friends ever watches this and says, Hey, Brenda, Brenda. You have made false prophecies. You said things were going to happen and they didn't happen. It's time to stop now. You're misleading people. You're misleading the sheep. Which would almost technically make you a wolf. So you need to stop now. I'm just going to say that. Enough's enough. Your prophecies didn't come true which makes you a false prophetess. Sorry. That's just the way it works. Um, anything else we can address while I'm on this craziness? How about the disciple himself? I don't know the guy. Um, I appreciate his uh, Discord channel. But he's come out and flat out said, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. It didn't happen didn't happen. Now he's changing the tune. He's trying to read more of Brenda's writings and try to figure out where in the timeline they are and oh well maybe we're at the third seal, maybe we're at the sixth seal, I don't know. Well if we are then we're not pre-trip. So let's stop with the pre-trip crap, okay? You gotta push one or the other guys. You can't you can't ride fences in religion. You can't ride fences in Christianity. You can't. That's lukewarm. You're with us or against us. That's what, uh, what's his name there would say in the States, right? And that's kind of how it is. You're either with Christ, for Christ, or you're not. You're either after trying to find and share the truth, or you're not. It's one of the two. And if it's just a thing to keep views going well you don't want my opinion on you if that's why you have a YouTube channel is just to keep views and get your Patreon account built up there good yeah anyway guys brothers and sisters <clears throat> once again the high watch zone, the high watch time, has come and gone. I am not, in any way, coming against the Lord or anyone watching for the Lord. I'm coming against what I believe is a misconception of that phrase. I think watching for the Lord is when, like Jesus said to the disciples, they said, well, how will we know if it's you, Lord? How will we know when we didn't? visit you he said because if you didn't visit the least of one of these if you didn't help the least of one of these if you didn't feed or water the least of one of these you didn't help me well how would we know if we did Lord because if you helped the least of one of these if you visited the least of one of these you helped and visited me we're told to constantly be looking for the Lord we are warned to be careful who how we treat strangers we may entertain an angel unaware as it says 
We're told to constantly look for the Lord, to live for the Lord, to be ready, to be ruptured at any moment. Well, he may come to take us by way of our physical death long before any rupture of the church. When he comes back, I hope he finds faith. See, because that's what he wondered. Will I find any faith when I come back? And if we're sitting here only wishing to be gone, we're not really showing faith that we trust him to get us through all this crap no matter how bad it gets. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be accusatory to you guys. But that's how I see it. I really do. And I'm not trying to place myself above you as better than you because I do these things and you don't do these things. I'm the first one to admit my personal life circumstances made it very easy for me to be able to be on the walk I'm on. I lost everything, okay? Um, my marriage was over. All of that was over, okay? I was removed from the situation. I was put out here in the middle of nowhere by myself 100% of the time. I went away from what I had and only took a part of the monetary, like took some cash from what we had together, right? She got the house and stuff like that. I didn't want any hardship for her as little as possible, right? Of course. I mean, I loved my wife. So anyway, when I came out here, I had that cash, so what I did was I paid every bill I had. So now, I sit here, I'm debt free. So, as long as I've got, guys, some coffee and a little bit of power to go into that little heater there to keep me warm, the odd box of craft dinner and some hamburger, I'm good to go. And the Lord provides absolutely everything I need. Every time I have a need, He shows up with somebody with coffee or somebody with money or somebody or something or something. Always. He just always covers it. When I say this, I have to also tell you guys that that's easier for me. I'm here alone. I don't have, I have my cat as a responsibility. So as long as I've got a bag of cat food and a case of mushy cat food for her, she's good for a few months or whatever. That's my big stress. I've got a couple, three pails of rice. I ain't going to starve to death unless somebody comes and takes my rice. But even then I'm not worried about it because the Lord will send a bird over that's going to drop a bag of rice in my lap because it's God, manna from heaven. It's whether or not we have faith in it or not. But for me, like I say, it's easier. So don't don't think I'm coming on here condemning you because you don't trust in the Lord for covering all of your bills. When you have a mortgage, three car payments, um, five kids in university, and, 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 people can't just stop living. I get that. It isn't, it's not like it's easy. My situation put me in a place where I'm able to rely on the Lord 100% for everything. And just not care and I just don't care I don't care about the world me and God made a deal I said I will come here on YouTube I will just preach the truth I'll preach the gospel I'll stand for the word you supply the worldly stuff Lord you take care of the world I'll take care of the the, the gospel thing and he said good deal done and that's been a year year and a half and he just supplies me with everything I've never had to be out of anything for more than a couple of days. A little bit of patience, you know. But like I said, I've been I've been blessed technically by my losses made it so that I was able to be in this situation where I could trust on the Lord a hundred percent. That he could just supply me with everything. It isn't as easy for everyone. I get that. And I'm not condemning anyone for their walk personally. I'm just trying to say if we have faith, if we make that leap, he will cover it. Because sure, even though like my, my circumstances are less than some people's, I still did say, okay, Lord, I'm just going to trust you. You take care of everything, and I'll just share the gospel. And that's what I did. 
And that's what's been going on for well over a year, about a year and a half now. He just covers everything. Like, I've already kind of blown it for being between me and God anyway. So it's okay to tell the story, I guess, right? I helped somebody. Didn't have a lot, but they needed it. So I helped. I think it was like the same day that I actually helped, or the very, like maybe I did it late that night and then the very next morning or whatever. I went to the mail and I picked up, just wait. <coughs> that. That there holds a gift card from Amazon. I gave away what I had and the Lord replaced it instantly. Just like that. Instantly. It's whether or not we trust them. It's whether or not we have faith that the Lord can make these things happen. And He can. He just can. He does. Over and over and over and over again. But He wants us to trust Him. That's why Jesus said, Love God with 100% of your heart, soul, and mind. He wants it all. He wants us to spend our life looking to Him for everything. For our help, for our comfort, for our love, for our understanding, for our wisdom, for our pain relief for our joy, for our happiness, everything. That's why it says in all things give thanks. Alright guys, this turned into a bit of a rambling rant and it's 27 minutes long, so I'm going to end it, but I'm going to tell you I love you all and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day in the Lord. As far as this whole rapture thing, don't worry about it guys. Live every day for the Lord as best as you can. Thank Him and love Him, if nothing else, just for getting you through one more day on this horrible planet. And remember, remember this, as children of the Lord, you're getting a brand new body and you're going to live on a brand new earth, a whole new earth. So as beautiful as you can ever imagine any part of this earth ever being, that's a fallen, horrible earth compared to where we're going to live all eternity because we trust it on the Lord. Don't give up now. Fight the good fight. Stay strong. And trust on Jesus. I love you guys.